Hello and welcome back to our ongoing series, Let's Learn How to Use the Lens Meter. Today we are going to take an ordinary single vision lens and learn how to use the lens meter to do finishing layout work. Today is kit number seven. Find your number seven envelope. Let's take that lens out of the bag and make sure that we've got that etched number seven mark on there. We're going to start doing something a little bit different today. Finishing is the art of cutting a lens to fit a particular frame. Before we can cut that lens for that particular shape, it's our responsibility, it's our main job, it's what we do as opticians to properly align this lens this way, this way, and this way, if it's a spherocylinder lens, within that eye wire to properly fill the prescription that's ordered for the glasses that we're filling. Take a look at lens meter kit number seven here. And it tells us that for this particular job, if I was, you know, customer was waiting out front, I needed to pull a lens, line it up, fill it. Minus 150, minus one, and the axis is 48. I would stock these lenses, stock single vision uncut lenses. I'd go over to the trays, I'd dig through, I'd find a minus 150, minus one. No, there's not going to be a 48 on the outside of that package. I'm going to rotate that minus 150 to be at 48 degrees in the lens meter, spot it up, then I can put a block on it, then I can edge it, then it can be mounted in the frame and everything will stay consistent through the process. Let's go ahead and set our axis wheel at 48. Two super important things Pay attention here. When you're doing layout work, you're filling a prescription. The axis is 48. You set your axis wheel at 48. You set it and you forget it. If you're doing the lens meter waltz and you're working your lens around and you're moving your power drum and you're doing layout work, if your hand is reaching back here, there's something wrong. You're filling the prescription. Your prescription tells you you have a minus 150 at 48 degrees. You set your axis wheel at 48 degrees. You're rotating the lens so you have closed sphere lines. That tells you that they're positioned at 48. If you touch your axis wheel, everything just is gonna be wrong. Pay really close attention to that. I can't stress that enough. The second part of this goes back to our discussions over and over of plus cylinder form, minus cylinder form. If you don't watch your power drum, it is possible to have beautiful crisp sphere lines at 250 instead of your 150. So if you're turning the power drum towards you in the plus direction, doing your layout work, you're not watching the power drum, you're just watching in here, and you go this way, you get cylinder lines, you hit your dots, you're gonna be 90 degrees off axis. If your prescription is written in minus cylinder form, you gotta be turning that power drum in the minus direction from your sphere lines to your closed cylinder lines. Practice this, pay attention to what I'm talking about. If you're not sure, watch it all again, think about it, play with the lens meter, crazy important. So I've got my axis wheel at 48. I can rotate my power drum to minus 150. I can look inside and I can rotate my lens around until I have beautiful crisp sphere lines. I can move that around so they're centered up nicely in the reticle. I can turn my power drum away from me exactly one diopter. I'm at minus 250. I have closed cylinder lines. Can move my chrome knurled sleeve, waltz, waltz, waltz. I have got a minus 150 with one diopter of cylinder at 48 degrees because everything is lined up in the reticle with my PCD where it needs to be. I can dot this lens. The center dot will represent my lens OC. The two outer dots are orientation marks. 
they help me keep this lens positioned this way so that 48 remains at 48 degrees. If I didn't have those, I could turn this lens. Then 48 becomes 58, 68, who knows? Those marks keep the lens on axis through the rest of the process. Finishing is one of those things that I hope you find yourself doing on a daily basis as a working optician. It's an important skill and it drives business. Next week, we're gonna do a neutralization of a complete single vision pair. And believe it or not, that is going to wrap up this series. So I will see you next week.